Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have seen a bunch of content in me wearing of me wearing this outfit, it's because yes, I did film like so much stuff in one day. So um I was on Brittany Broski's YouTube channel today. I just started getting into her YouTube videos. That chick is so funny. When I was scrolling through her videos, I saw one of her reacting to One Direction Imagines, and I went to click on it and then I was like, no, I need to do the same thing. I need to do something similar to this, and I didn't want my didn't want my thoughts to be skewed, so that is what we're doing today. We're gonna be reading some old One Direction imagines and reacting to them. And then also, I don't wanna do this, but I also do wanna do this. Um, I'm gonna go and look for my old Wattpad fan fictions and read a little bit of them and react to it. I'm genuinely so scared to do that because I have pushed it to the back of my brain. Like, I just don't wanna remember what I used to do because it is literally so cringeworthy. Like, I don't know, 2014, 2015 was a weird time to be a teenage girl. If you weren't obsessed with like One Direction or Five Sauce, then you were obsessed with like a bunch of more like metal punk bands and, or otherwise you were like obsessed with soccer players. Like, Honestly, I just feel like that was a time in a girl's life where we were all obsessed with different types of men. As we should be though, if you think about it. But yeah, like I feel like my obsession was kind of not normal. I was one of those people that had like a One Direction fan account on Instagram and a, and a Five Sauce fan account. And I did read Wattpad a lot. I never read After believe it or not, but I read all the One Direction, Adopted Me, One Direction, Kidnapped Me, all that kind of bullshit. Some of those books were actually bloody good, and I hope some of those girls today are proper authors because they were writing some good shit, like 90 chapters, putting a song, a photo to go with it so you can get in the groove, like, love that shit. Let's start, though, by going through some Imagines. I feel like I wanted to look them up on Instagram, but I don't know, like, let's see what comes up when I look up Imagines on Instagram. 1D Imagines. Let's see what comes up. See, it's all like other shit. Like, okay, I reckon I'm gonna try and look it up on Pinterest. One Direction Imagines. Let's see. Okay, we literally have one. I'm gonna screen, I'm gonna save it so we can put it up on the screen next to me. Imagine you, Louis William Tomlinson. No, when people were obsessed with saying middle names, bro. Louis William Thompson, get your ass down here and give me my phone. Louis, never, it's mine now. Why are people obsessed with making Louis like this so mischievous, mischief, mischievous, mischievous, goofy like Joker-esque goofy R? Please, Lou, you pretend to cry and it looks down at you. Oh my god, you don't need to, actually to be fair, that is literally me with my boyfriend, I always fake cry. So to be honest, I can't hate on this. Louis, you will not convince me to come down, peasant. Another thing, like peasant was a thing, like Louis, Louis was supposed to be this like goofy, like, ee -ee 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 -ee, peasant, like please. What did you just call me? Oh god, I can't even read the next line. <laughs> Louis, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay up here. I'm trying to do a British accent. I'm gonna stay up here. You, answer me, Louis. Louis, uh, love you, babe. I can't even read that. Like, I feel like me reading that, it sounded like I was reading it legitimately. Like, that was so fucking stupid, and the freaking pictures that go with it is literally dumb. Why are they all Louis ones? I want a Harry one. Oh my god, Darcy. Wait, where where is Darcy from? He's got a little sister called Darcy. Oh god. Fans, hi Harry, hi Darcy. Harry, hi, say hi baby. He tells Darcy rubbing it back, Darcy, hi. Fans, oh, where's your name? Where's Annalise? Harry, oh, she will be out soon. She wasn't feeling well. Fans, oh, we hope, we hope she feels better soon. Harry, as do I. She's so cute when she sneezes. No one fucking says as do I. Head ass. Darcy, daddy, Harry, yeah baby. Darcy, is mommy okay? Pats his chest with a hand. Harry, of course she is. Why babe? I heard her scream last night. Yeah, nah, we're not gonna go any further because I know it's just gonna be some fucking dumb shit, bro. Why was everyone so fucking... Imagine, Louis. I don't want to look at these because I used to eat this shit up. Like, I used to severely eat this up. Louis, what are you doing out here? She locked me out. Why? Because I told her I have a better ass. But Annalise has a nice ass. Yeah, but mine's better. What did you say about her ass? Not Louis. What? So is this like them fetishizing that like someone also finds that person's ass? And what was like everyone obsessed with like saying Louis has a big butt or something? Okay, imagine. Why am I just looking at Louis Imagines? Okay, wait, let's do something else. You t Okay, imagine. You tease Harry by saying he's weak and there's no way he can do 100 push-ups. Harry, oh yeah babe, wanna bet? You walk up to close his face, bring it. You whisper against his lips, sending chills throughout his body. <laughs> How do you know that he got chills from that though? Like, how can you say that he got Like, I guess you can because you're writing the story. Just do it, babe. I'm gonna try this on my boyfriend. I'm gonna go up to my boyfriend and, be and, and bet him he can't do push-ups and then say that and ask him if he got chills. Fucking stupid shit. Bring it, user against his sleep. Oh my god, I don't want to read this. Harry, okay, get on the floor. You look at him weird. Just do it, babe. He said back to you, you 
did it as he said. Like they're changing past, present, future tense. Are they? Or am I just like overthinking that? He hovered over you in a push-up position. One, he said going down and kissing you softly on the lips. Two, he went down again and kissing you. What are you doing, Harry? You froze. He froze. Well, I have to have motivation and you, baby, keep me going. Okay. Someone commented, damn, that floor is hot. <laughs> I need a Zane Imagine. I don't care. At the end of the day, if it's a Zane Imagine, I will be happy. Because for me, anything Zane, like anything Zane goes, oh, texting Zane about you, I guess. He won't stop talking about you. Make a stop. Not my problem. Help me. Tell him if he's quiet for an hour, I'll visit tomorrow. I have one day off work tomorrow anyways. You should have seen his face. He's trying so hard. What the fuck does that mean? Imagine, Harry, hey Zane, what are you doing? Trainer, I suggest you do not bother him, Harry. Harry, why, Zane? Some guy was hitting on Annalise. If any guy gets near her, I'll kick her ass. Arse. I'll kick, I'll kick his ass and I'll kick her ass. Kick his ass so he won't be able to reproduce. Kick his ass so hard he won't be able to <laughs> What does he reproduce through his ass? <laughs> You're gonna kick someone in their ass? <laughs> so they can't have babies? What does that even mean? Same goes for you too, mate. Harry remembers the time he hit on you. Ooh, erm. Um, oh my god, the erm, um, because they don't say um, I guess they say erm. Um. Erm, um, okay, well look at the time. I should get going, runs the other way. Yeah, ha Harry's shitting his pants. Bro, Harry's like freaking six foot three and Zane is like five foot nine. I don't think Harry is shitting his pants around Zane. Shout out to my short kings, like there's no way. So fucking stupid. Fine, let's do. Fine, let's do a Nile one, even though Nile never hit and it's like as hard. Like, love Nile, but I'm sorry, no. Oh, this is this is some dumb shit. You know what? This is some bullshit Nile will do because <laughs> in my head he's got zero game. This is some dumb shit we'll do that. Freaking weird guy friend that's trying to tell you he likes you. Nile, I'm in love with a girl, but I don't know how to tell her. You. Just tell her I love you. Nile, can I try it on you first? You, of course. Nile, I love you. You. Nice. Now go and tell her. Nile, I just did. And the fucking photo with the roses. The caption being, um, I don't know, sh should I do more of these? Like, as if they really ate with that, like, uh, should I do more? Fine, let's do a Liam one. We have to do one of everyone before we get to the... What a time, guys. I used to, like, be obsessed with watching, like, the Zeeam. I don't know why. I never really liked the whole Larry ship. I always found it really weird. I think it was because everyone just really overdid it. But I was obsessed with the Zeeam videos. Like, I fucking frothed those. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure I've literally read this one before. I'm pretty sure I've literally read this one before. You had a fight with Liam. You stayed in the living room and he was in the other room. You were pretty sure Liam was asleep already. But when you enter your room, you see him sitting awake on bed awake. You sighed at yourself and lied next to him. When you put your head on his chest, he immediately wrapped his arms around you and pulled you closer. I love you. You know that, right? He mumbles against your hair. Everything was mumbling. Everything was the mumbles. You notice slowly, I love you too, Lee. Ugh, no one would call someone Lee and Lee. I guess maybe they would. <laughs> I'm so sorry he whispered near you. Kiss his chest and close your eyes. Let's just not fight anymore. And they've got the emo photo. Someone, Larry Styles and comment, I would be so scared. I hate fighting. So I'm confused. Are these people commenting from back in 2014 or like... Nah, this person commented that in February. So like, bro, like, there is, there is like new One Direction fans coming out that are going through the phases we went through. Come on, guys. What are we doing? This is not it. Okay. <laughs> I'm now going to be trying to look up. I'm going to try and look it up on my computer. Because, um, not me being down here. So I wrote a book at the time. Let me just preface this. I was 13. So in my head, I knew Harry couldn't date a 13 year old, but I didn't think that he couldn't have a type of friendship with one. Do you know what, with a 13 year old, do you know what I mean? So you can really see the connotations of like something inappropriate happening. Um, yeah. So let's continue as Annalise, I guess. Whatever. I don't want to make an account. Whatever. Guys, I'm fully making an account for this. Why do I have to put my birthday? Why do I have to sign my life off right now just to look at this fucking stupid shit? Okay, enter username. Knock123. Who the fuck took Knock123, bitch? Probably me. Ugh. I'm fully making an account. This is pissing me off. Alright, so my old username. Surely the account is still here. I'm scared. Oh my god, it's there. It's there, guys. Oh... No, and I even made a thing called One Direction Fanfix Be Like. In love with my best friend. Oh, no, no, that's not me. I was going to say like that. That can't be me. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. The main girl, the one scared. Ew. 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 I can't see it. I can't see it. Ew, it's got 11K reads. Like, people used to fully vote. Two, 294 votes. Ew, it's like 2014. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Okay, let's start. Let's start reading it. Here we go, guys. Alyssa's Pov. So I'm pretty sure I was Alyssa. Oh, I don't know. Like, I was being me. You know, everyone was fucking making it about themselves. 
Charlie just finished posting our cover of I Just Want to Live onto our YouTube channel. Wow, fucking punk rock. What are the comments? She said author. Nick Nock is a certified baddie. Fuck you, it's all my, it's followers. Ah, kill, kill yourselves. Why are you fucking, this is so embarrassing. Okay, done, she sighed, leaning back into her chair. Okay, baby, you can get the chips, Alyssa. Okay, baby, can you get the chips, Jade asked. That's my cue, the annoying nickname they had given me my whole life. I thought standing up and replying, sure, before jogging out of Charlie's bedroom with the chips. Why was everybody jogging? Why are we jogging? Just freaking walk. No one was jogging. I was just copying what other people said. And also, saying baby as the nickname is so freaking cringe. Oh, hey, Julia, I greeted Claudia's mom, who was walking into her office. Hi, sweetie, she replied before continuing out of the kitchen. We have been practicing and recording for about two hours, and Julia had gone out to get us food. We are always hungry. Well, I am. I don't know about the rest of them. Oh, you're so hungry. Shut up. I can't read this shit. I can't even read it. Okay, let's go. Ready. Let's go into a random chapter. Basically, guys, the idea is that we're a band, we're a girl band, and we get picked as like imagine like what Five Sauce was, but for One Direction. Like we are the, but 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 we're Five Sauce. Like we're opening One Direction show, so we get picked. We get scouted. Let's jump randomly into chapter five. Okay, I'm, I don't know what I want to like show you guys, but like I want you to like be able to see. Thanks for watching this. I began to say it was cut off by Alyssa as usual. Absolutely amazingly tremendous boring video. She shouted at the camera because you were in it. I sassed at her. Oh, everyone's so sassy these days. Okay, bye. Alyssa says standing up and saluting. I laughed and saluted back. I didn't bother standing up. We were like sisters, so it wasn't really considered rude to not give her a hug or anything. And I'll probably be seeing her later tonight anyways. The over explanation. Goodbye, my pumpkin pie. Yell Jade saluting and then following her. What the hell is the saluting? So we're doing this. We're doing this to each other. I love how I'm saying we as if I am Alyssa, but I, I wrote this as myself as Alyssa. I know I did. Okay, I'm going to skip it. This I, I remember taking ages. Chapter 19. Let's go to chapter 19. 323 reads. Wake up. Someone yelled in my ear. Ugh, go away. I groaned rolling over. The past two weeks, we had just been rehearsing nonstop. We didn't even need to rehearse yet. The person got up and came into my bed snuggling up to me. No. Oh, okay. My body was now beginning to quiver. It's near the end of February, middle of winter in England, so the temperature was very low. Okay, I got scared that it was going to be Harry in the bed with me. Because I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. There is about to be the boy. The boys are going to be in this. Okay, guys. This one's going to be juicy. And I've put a picture of someone laying in a bed. Guys, I'm not... I decided... this At this point is when I've decided to not say the title of the book or my username. Because I don't want you guys finding this is fucking embarrassing. Charlie, what are you doing here? Get away. You're freezing a wine carrying out the ear. Listen, don't you remember what's happening today? Charlie questioned me. Rolling out of the blanket. No, I don't remember. I tried to pull more blanket on me. I really needed to pee now. My whole body was freezing. Baby, so fucking cringe. Shut up, Charlie. Push her head off a bit. Alyssa, the boys are coming over today. She said in excitement. It didn't take me long to realize what she meant before. I was jumping out of bed straight to the shower. Once I got out of the shower, I walked into our kitchen. What I noticed about Wattpad also was like there was all like we would always be obsessed with talking about taking a shower. Like it was just always mentioned at least once in the chapter, like someone taking a shower. Like I don't know why. Uh, morning, mum. What are you guys doing? We're ordering stuff. Alyssa and I heard her over the last talking about something Adidas. They were probably getting some some t-shirt. Oh yeah, they've already given some added ass What the fuck's the point of putting that into the story? Charlie walked in a few minutes later, grabbing a bowl of cereal from the pantry. Here, she passed me the cereal. Eat this. I opened the box, sat in to see only a few cocoa pops were left. Are you serious? Complain. Who left this much? Seriously. Girl, no one would pass a cereal box that's fucking empty with a few cocoa pops. Like, that would weigh nothing. No one would pass that to you. That's so stupid. I don't know, replied Jade, still staring at the computer. I checked out all our outfits. We were all wearing almost the same thing. Black leggings and a band t-shirt. Psh, I muttered, walking to the lounge room, eating out of the cereal box with a long wooden spoon, lying down with my legs up on the the arms rest of the couch. Just as I sat down, I heard a ruckus and, and, and soon saw Niall, Louie, and Liam walking to the kitchen, Harry and Zane following in. Oh, here they come. The One Direction. Here the boys at. Like, what? Is this a reject shop One Direction? Like, why am I imagining like, the goofy, ah, uh, not real version of One Direction walking in and like, these girls are so dumb, they think One Direction wants them for their show. One Direction does not want you guys for the fucking show. Hey, Charlie shouted. I could hear her practically running towards them. I couldn't be bothered getting up and saying hi, so I just sat on the couch listening to the conversation. Oh, I couldn't be bothered. I'm 13 years old. I can't be bothered going and talking to One Direction. Even though this isn't, obviously this isn't the first one they've met, but the, even the fact of that, I don't care how many times I've met One Direction, I'm going to run. Stupid, trying to act all cool. As I was getting up, the empty box of cereal managed to spill all over me and girlish squeal escaped my mouth. Ew. Is that what you fucking mean, bitch? I lay straight back down, trying to move and get Cocoa Pops on... Trying to move and get Cocoa Pops on the carpet. So I'm thinking I'm trying... Charlie would kill me if I did. So I think I was trying to not get them on the carpet, but I said get them on the carpet. What? I heard Niall burst out laughing along with, I think, the rest of the guys. I squeezed my eyes shut, trying to move my arms. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Why are you trying to move your arms? That doesn't even make sense. Well, maybe I could... Um, how the hell did you manage that? Recognize Liam's voice. Well, maybe I could tell you if you help me out over here. I sass trying to shake what felt like a whole packet off my face. I even felt one of my nose. At least it smelled good. Okay, first of all, bitch. How was there only a few cocoa bottles left and now all of a sudden you're covered? Like, shut up. Second of all, it smelled good on your nose. Okay, you're smelling one. You want, isn't cocoa bottle fucking up your nostril, bitch? Like, come on, shut up. 
Oh, okay, Liam laughed again with the other bozos who weren't helping me. Bozos, not me calling One Direction bozos. I'm hundred percent sure the girls were behind them too. I'm not allowed to get any look up and I notify Liam. That's the thing, I swear I would look up like different ways of saying said, so you didn't have to keep saying said. Notified is apparently um, a good word to use. Oh, uh, okay, Harry, grab her legs, I'll get her arms. Okay, Harry replied, walking over to me. What? No, I argue when I realize what they're doing. Put me down at school and move my hands, only trying to be set free. This was the only way. No, like, 18, 19-year-old guys are going to do that to a 13-year-old girl and it be normal. You know? I'm sure there was another way I said, rolling my eyes. They took me out the back door and tried to shake me helplessly. Okay, put me down, I laughed. A bitch just wanted to be picked up. 13-year-old me just wanted One Direction to pick me up so bad. Alright, I'm going to randomly go to the very last thing I bought, chapter 27. Lee Doe 96, Harry at Harry Styles, first day of tour, whoop whoop, Harry Styles, here we come, Columbia, X. Okay, so this is me trying to do the Twitter when they put Twitter quotes at the start, and this is why the fuck we're in Columbia, okay. It's Niles Pov. It's the first day of tour and it was like mad in our hotel room in Columbia. The girls were all on a, on a floor below us, sadly, so we were hardly able to see them before running through the show. That would never happen. One Direction would not, it would not be booked out on a floor that they need to do the one below them. It's stupid. Once he finally made it to our stadium, Estadio El, Estadio El Campin. So I've obviously looked up a stadium in Colombia. Like, honestly, good on me for doing my research and getting the facts, bro. I've gotten a Colombian stadium name. We perform, we were performing at the excitement immediately grew for the tour. The crew members were setting up the place where we got our microphones checked. Charlie, Lisa, Jaden, and Natalie were having a walkthrough of what they had to do. And I could see them jumping around excitedly when each of their spots were shown. Now I'll have my name being shouted. Recognizing Zane's voice, I turned around and following his gesture to go to him. What's up? We're having a stage run through. Like, this is all fucking filler. There was an awkward, so like all this stuff's happening, like if, this is like heavens, getting lollies, I don't know. The last line I put of this, because like they're obviously about to perform, there was an awkward silence for about 10 minutes where no one had anything to say just because we hadn't seen each other all day. Well, you know what, I love how I say that because I'm that person where like if I haven't seen someone all day, I won't have anything to say to them. Like if I don't talk to my boyfriend all day, when we get on the phone, I have like don't know what to say to him because I'm like, there's just too much, may as well not say anything. So it's funny how I've kind of said that and that's actually how I think. So long time no see, boys, Alyssa said, wiggling her eyebrows with a handful of gummy bears. Author's note. I decided to finish this book, so sorry for being gone for so long. Hopefully I'll do be doing one update a week X. Bitch never updated again. That was that was on um, August 9th, 2016. So two years later I decided to come back and finish the book and I just did it. When are updating? Someone said six years ago. Susan one day, I'm so sorry I didn't update. Guys, that was so pathetic. I don't even want to look at that anymore. That actually makes me physically ill. I should not have been allowed to have a phone. It was wrong of me. Yeah, I wish I could remember what my um, One Direction account was called, but I think I like deleted it. It was just a really weird time and I'm interested now to see how many like young girls are getting into One Direction now. It reminds me of when people would fucking be into the Beatles and it's like they're not even around anymore. It's like people being into One Direction now, they're not even around anymore. It's like, well, like, and it makes me feel special like I lived through a, a time that you guys just wish you, you could have, which you guys don't wish, I'm telling you, because then there's shit like that on the internet. I will never be able to delete that Wattpad fan fiction because I don't know the passwords or anything. Or like, maybe I do. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, if you want me to do more stuff like this, like reactions and talking about things, let me know. Quick little update, because I was going to make a whole video and I made it so long ago and it didn't get posted. People wanted to know if I'm still doing uni. I'm not. I dropped out. I decided I didn't want to do speech anymore. I was, I had this whole entire story that goes with it, but like, I decided to take a break off of doing speech and possibly go into disability support care or something like that next year. But I decided to take a year off because I really didn't want to continue with the uni I was at and I was just kind of over it. Um, yeah, and also for the people thinking I broke up with my boyfriend, I know that I've already kind of touched on that, but I'll touch on it again. I didn't break up with my boyfriend. I think because I made a video talking about a guy I was obsessed with when I was in year 8 and he was in year 12, people assumed, because I was saying that the guy was gorgeous and stuff, that I'd uh, broken up with Josh. I had it. I was just talking about how I used to feel about that guy, and he is still gorgeous. He's like a model now. So yeah, I'm still with my boyfriend. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm assuming you're coming from TikTok. Peace and love.